Welcome back to another episode of Hey Buck Outdoors. Today I'm going to be going over three great inexpensive Scandi Grind fixed blades. So pretty simple stuff. I think Scandi Grinds are the best for uh, bushcraft, at least one of the best. Uh, not so great at food prep uh, in my experience, but just an overall great camp knife. Now I've got three different options here. All of these are around $50 to $60 or under. Your cheapest is obviously going to be this one, and we're just going to go over them as as we go down. So starting off with a bang, obviously anybody who knows anything about the outdoor space knows this blade. This is my Mora Companion. As you can see, this thing is beat to heck and back. Uh, this thing's been through a few torture tests. It's got rust all over it. The edge is perfect on it though. I mean, this is my little buddy, you know. I carry this thing everywhere. The great thing about Mora is it's damn near impossible to kill it. Uh, I've got a torture test on this. It's from like two years ago. You guys should go check it out. I mean, I put this thing through the ringer and it's still going strong today. Um, and they're, guess what? They're only 15 to 20 bucks where you can find them. Made in Sweden, uh, 12C27 stainless steel, I believe. So overall, not bad. You do have a rat tail construction comes down in the rubberized grip. You got a nice polymer handle. No finger guard. You just choke up right here not too bad honestly if you're gonna own one knife and one knife at all it's got to be a mora uh it, this is like one of the best do it all knives it's not the best at food prep but hey it's better than nothing let's move on so up next we're moving up in size and price a little bit the mora goes for about 20 dollars this is the bps knives adventure now this is an absolute hoss of a blade this is what you would consider like a traditional style camp knife it's big enough for that it's like a five inch blade profile that low scandy grind <laughs> this one's in a little bit of disrepair this is my uh in my go bag in my car that i keep with me every day with my medical kit so it's getting a little bit of rust on there from all the rain we've been having definitely need to clean that up a little bit nice walnut handle scales full tank construction compared to the mora uh definitely a thick thick blade on that so you can definitely get some chopping done a lot more uh, basic woodcraft, I wouldn't chop anything more than say double the size of your thumb. Overall not too bad, pretty light, comes with an amazing leather sheath, <clears throat> as well as a ferro rod included, all for about 30 to $45 depending on where, when and where you find them. So honestly, this is probably my go-to pick for an expensive camp knife of 2023. Not too bad, take one last look at that. Again, I apologize for the no noise. I can't help that I live right next to uh, a main thoroughfare, big old road. So the la last knife we're gonna talk about today. Now, there are obviously way more great Scandi grind blades than the ones I've showed you, but these are just three of, I'd say my favorites. I think uh, this one probably is the creme de la creme uh, so far of what I've reviewed in the last year or so. So this is the Brisa LTD. Uh, Hiker 95. Essentially, let's compare it to that more real quick. You can obviously know, notice these similarities. Now, this one has a beefier blade profile. Similar uh, Scandi grind. You do have that traditional looking swedge there. Some of the OG bushcrafters aren't a big fan of that 12C27 stainless. This one is a lot more rust resistant than the Mora for whatever reason, but then again, the Mora, the entire surface uh, that blade profile has been scratched to heck and back, so that might have something to do with it. Uh, this is a wicked blade. I mean, it's just an absolute hoss. Uh, the amount of stuff you can put this through and it keeps going, it holds its edge for a long, long time. So I'm blanking on the country of origin on the briefs. I'll probably put it in, in after editing, but uh, it's another Scandinavian country, but it just, this feels better quality than the Mora. You feel like you're getting more with it. Um, and I believe you actually get a 90 degree spine on this towards the rear. I've tried to use a ferro rod to spark with this. It's somewhat difficult because it is kind of rounded off, but it can be done in a pinch. Uh, definitely, you know, not the best, but hey, it's better than nothing. You do have a lanyard hole. I know a lot of people are a big fan of those. I am too. Stainless construction. It has somewhat shorter of a blade than that Mora there. Uh, but I think for a great companion blade, so you use this in combination with, say, a hatchet or a saw, uh, just something you can do the little stuff. 
um, this is very, very, very helpful. I like how thick this is compared to the Mora. I don't know, it's just something about a beefy knife. Uh, man, it just it feels good. And again, the fish scale handle, as you can see on there, pretty cool design. Now this from Brisa is gonna come in right around the 50 to $60 mark. The most expensive knife we're looking at today, but, and these are, you know, in and out of availability uh, due to supply chain issues, but, Man, when you can find them, I think this is, you know, if you already have a couple of Moras, maybe you got yourself a BPS, you need to pick up a Brisa. These are like one of the best, uh, you know, companion blades on the market at the moment. So definitely do not pass up the Brisa offerings. Um, I just uh, remembered these are made in Finland, not, uh, not Sweden or Norway. Uh, the Brisa line of knives, they're made in Finland, so... Back to your regular scheduled program. So those are some of my top picks for uh, Scandi grind fixed blades, uh, especially inexpensive ones. I think no matter which way you go with these, they're all of a size and price range that you can do almost anything with them. They're pretty versatile, very utilitarian blades. And Scandi grinds typically, I, I forgot to say the BPS is a high carbon, so you're gonna have to watch for rust a little bit more. But you know, I just keep this one in my pack all day long for the last, oh, Four months every time I go out hiking every time I go out on adventures and it has not failed me since um, no matter which way you go with these you're gonna do well so thank you guys so much for watching and please have a fantastic day